Welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into why 2025 is the perfect year to switch to Linux. Let's get started. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. If you've ever thought about moving away from Windows or Mac OS, you're not alone. Over the last few years, Linux has shed its reputation for being hard to use and inaccessible. I'm going to walk you through five reasons why now, right now, is the ideal moment to make the switch. By the end, you'll know exactly what makes Linux so compelling in 2025. First up, app and game. Compatibility. Not long ago, Linux users watched their Windows-only games pile up untouched. Today, Valve's Proton compatibility layer lets you play hundreds of top-selling titles at near-native performance. You can game on Ubuntu, PopOS, or SteamOS without skipping a beat. Productivity apps have also matured. Gimpy and Krita rival Photoshop in Life stands in for Premiere Pro and LibreOffice handles every document you throw at it. Many tools now run faster and cost nothing. No subscriptions, no license keys. Next, driver support. Linux's reputation for hardware headaches belongs to the past. Modern kernels include drivers for Wi-Fi adapters, GPUs, printers, and more. Most distros auto-detect and configure everything during installation. Whether you're using Intel, AMD, or NVIDIA graphics, the open source and proprietary drivers are just a click away. I've tested Linux on an ARM-based laptop and it worked immediately. No manual firmware installs required. Reason number three, customization. Linux is the ultimate playground for personalizing your desktop. Pick a desktop environment, GNOME for simplicity, KDE Plasma for Polish, XFCE for speed, and tweak every element, change icons, adjust window behavior, or swap out the entire shell, Want a Mac style dock? Done. Prefer tiling window managers? Awesome. You can even modify kernel parameters for performance tuning. This level of control means your PC looks and feels exactly the way you want. Fourth, troubleshooting. On Windows, you click through endless settings menus or pray that an automated tool fixes your problem. On Linux, logs are plain text and errors appear directly in the terminal. A simple pseudo journal CD TL negative XE or DMESG reveals exactly what went wrong. Searching the error code plus your distro name often leads to step by step solutions. With extensive online documentation and active forums for every distribution, most issues are resolved within minutes. No guesswork required. Finally, the biggest advantage security and privacy. Linux enforces a strict user privilege model. By default, you operate as a non-root user. To modify core system files or install software, you explicitly elevate permissions. That reduces the risk of malware spreading. Many distros ship with Apamore or Linux enabled, adding another layer of protection. Unlike Windows, Linux doesn't collect your personal data or show intrusive ads. You control updates, you choose what telemetry runs, and you can compile your own kernel if you want to lock everything down. Before you hit the install button, two quick caveats. Multiplayer games with kernel-level anti-cheat systems still aren't supported, so if you're an eSports pro, stick with Windows for now. And while there are excellent Adobe alternatives, Darktable instead of Lightroom, Inkscape instead of Illustrator, After Effects remains unmatched. If you rely on that, you may need a dual boot setup or a VM, so is now the right time? Absolutely, distros are more stable, hardware works out of the box, and you're finally in control of your system. Ready to try? Check out beginner-friendly options like Linux Mint, Ubuntu, or Pop! OS. I've linked installation guides and best practices in the description below. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, hit subscribe for more tech tips. See you in the next one.